What's going on, mobile gamers? Today I'm going to show you guys how to play Nintendo DS on your own, too. Let's jump in and level up our gaming knowledge. Alright, mobile gamers, so the very first thing we are going to do is we're going to navigate to our files manager. We're going to scroll over to wherever our Odin 2 is, so either our Odin 2 internal storage or our SD card. Mine's going to be in my SD card. Now, you're going to do what I did here. I created a folder called NDS. I created another folder called Games, and then all of my games are placed into this folder. We're going to create another folder inside of our NDS folder called drastic dash emu now you can call this whatever you'd like i just like to call it this so that i know all of my files are going to be safely stored inside of this folder when we get to that point the next thing we're going to do is we're going to navigate to the google play store we're going to download drastic ds emulator as you see here now this does cost money but i highly recommend you to buy drastic because it is a really great application it's been around for a decade and the developer is still actively developing it and updating it so that we have awesome Nintendo DS emulation on any of our devices. So now we're going to install this application after you've purchased it. You're going to click play. You're going to click OK. You're going to click while using the app. You're going to allow Drastic to record audio. Now, this is going to ask you to install a shortcut on your desktop. I'm going to click no, just because we don't need to do that. It's already installed on our main page, whatever. Now we're going to go to change options. We're going to go to general. We're going to scroll all the way down to the bottom and we're going to go down to system directory. Click on that. Now go to scope storage folder. We're going to go back to our NDS folder, wherever you place that. And you're going to select the drastic dash EMU folder that we created at the beginning. Now you're going to click use this folder, click allow. Now it's going to say restart drastic for these changes to take effect. How we do that, we're going to click on the square. We're going to swipe up just to get rid of it. You can technically just click clear all if you want to get rid of any applications that are running in the background. Navigate back into drastic. Now it's going to say that we have to use a system migration. So let's click OK. Now this is going to ask you, do you want to delete any of the source data after it was copied? I'm going to click yes and let it do its thing. Now we're going to go back into change options. We're going to go into video. This is where we're going to set up our fancy graphics are uh, 3d rendering so that it looks nice on this device so what i like to set up is hq2x which is going to be high quality at 2x resolution high resolution 3d rendering 16-bit rendering disable edge marking and i like to keep the main screen which is my single screen to the top what that means is that main screen so like if you're playing super mario bros for example if you go down a pipe it navigates to the second screen i like to keep it at the same screen all the time so that's what i'm going to do for this now anything else here we're not going to actually touch we're going to go back we're going to go to virtual gamepad we're going to deselect always show start and select buttons we're going to select menu bottom or menu button position i go to select it to hidden now, anything else in here we don't really need to touch because we're not going to be using any of our on-screen buttons. Go to our external controller. Now, this is going to try to set up our buttons based off of the device that we're using. In my case, I like to actually set up my own mapping. So what I'm going to do is select key mapping, go no mapping, go map control, and then I'm going to set up all my buttons for this. So X, Y, B, A, and my R and my L are going to be my my triggers so my r l start select up right down and left now my map special this is going to be for screen swapping and save states and all that kind of stuff so my m1 button which is on this side is going to be for my screen swap my fast forward i'm not going to use that my quick save i'm going to use my l1 quick load i'm not going to use that open menu i'm going to use my r1 up left, up right, up down right, all that kind of stuff I'm not going to use. And my M2 is going to be half screen swap, which is going to be for that button. Click skip, skip again, skip again. Now, what we're going to do here is we're going to go disable map key in overlay. And we're going to go back. Now, let's go back into general. And this is where you're going to be able to set up if you wanted to auto save, resume last save from starting from shortcut, save states, enable cheats, enable luau. 
disable back button, disable menu button. I'm gonna disable the menu button here. And my default layout, I like my default layout to be landscape aspect ratio. Now you can have your default layout to have the big screen and the little screen if you want to or the double layout like that, but I like the landscape aspect ratio. Multiplayer does not work on this, unfortunately. I haven't figured out a way to actually get that working. I wish it did, but it doesn't work right now. Now let's go back, let's go to system. This is where you can change your name and everything. So I'm gonna change my name to Mr. DNA, just like so. Now click the down arrow, and now we're gonna change our birthday, day, and year, or month I think it is. Yeah, just month and year the favorite color so dark cerulean and all this other stuff we don't really need to touch advanced settings this is just saying hey if you want to use raw save formats you can use that um, store in-game saves in the save states folder yes that's what we want to do enable uncompressed files all this kind of stuff we don't really need to touch sleep and rendering thread don't touch any of this stuff just leave it the way it is now we're going to go to load new game click on load new game go to your nds folder Go to games click use this folder click allow now we're going to click on that folder and there's all of our games loading up now i'm going to go into my mario folder i'm going to go to new super mario bros i'm going to click start game and as you see the very first menu that pops up is just our main top screen so or well this will be our i think it's our top screen on the ds i can't remember now if you press whatever hotkey you set up for your second screen or your M2 button, you can see both screens for the first little bit. If you want to turn that off after, you just turn that half screen swap off after. Now to open up your menu, I set up my hotkey for R1. Now click continue, just ignore that. Now I'm gonna go fast forward so I can fast forward through this, wait for the menu to actually run through this whole setup. And there we go. Now we can go screen swap and we can go play our game. And there you go. So that's basically it. It looks great. I think it looks amazing. The way that this is set up and again that's all up to your preference but i think this game looks really good with those quality settings graphic settings set up for our odin 2. all right some of you might want to know how to enable cheats i have updated the cheat folder or file for you guys which is linked in the description below it's basically an updated version of the cheat file that has already been implemented for us but it doesn't have all of the cheats so this version that i have supplied you is basically all of the cheats for multiple different games now what i'm going to do here i'm just going to save my state here this isn't really necessary i'm just going to leave the game and i'm going to go download that file all right now that we have that file downloaded we're going to navigate to our downloads folder in our odin 2 now we're going to go down to downloads and we're going to look for a folder or a file called usercheat.dat we're going to copy that file by long pressing it, click the three dots, click copy to, click the three lines, go to the Odin 2 folder or wherever you put your NDS files, go to NDS, go to Drastic EMU, and all you're gonna do is just paste it right here. So click copy. Now go back to wherever your NDS folder is and your Citra or your Drastic-EMU files are. Now we're gonna delete the original file, just like so, long press it, click delete, click okay. Now we're going to rename this to usercheat.dat. So make sure that you get rid of this one that's right here. So scroll over and there we go. Now we have that new usercheat.dat file. Now we're going to go back into drastic. We're going to go to continue. Now we're going to press our hotkey for our menu. We're going to go to menu. We're going to go to cheat database and here are all your little cheats. So you can set up different cheats for max infinite lives, big jumps, which is kind of funny, to be honest. Now, I think some of these are already set on for some reason. Game enhancer code, skip intro, which I really like to do is skip the intro when you start a new game. Game option codes, uh, enable return, save anywhere in the world. Save anywhere in the world is kind of cool. Now, let's go back, go back, go back. Now, if you jump, some of these cheats don't work right away so we have to actually get out of the game go to menu change game and then go back into the game again click start game and these cheat codes will allow you to actually use them sometimes they don't work right away so basically if you enable some of those cheats for whatever reason but there we go that cheat worked so that cheats disallowing the the intro screen from starting from a new game and we have our 99 lives 
And now we can go into the game, and I'm going to show you that super jump one. That one's kind of funny to actually watch. Now, that's just how to set up cheats. Let me see if the super jump... Oh, there we go. There's the super jump. <laughs> so if you double jump off of something... Here, let's see. There we go. So that's just a, a weird little cheat for that one as well. So that's basically how you use cheats, and there's multiple different cheats for different games. Now, if you want to turn off all these cheats, for example, I'm going to actually go moon jump. Let's see if we can turn that on. And there's moon jump. So you could actually just fly through the sky if you wanted to, which I don't really care for cheats myself, but I just thought I'd add that as a little bonus so that you guys can see that working on drastic. Have a good day. Hope you guys enjoyed. Go play some Nintendo DS on your Odin 2. Bye-bye!